really. <laughs> really. Take it off. Who is that warm? Mom, it's okay. It's a t-shirt. It's my t-shirt. Mom. Let him wear it. Sometimes I think you prefer him to me. Oh my god, how could you not say like Mom? Scotland. Yeah, she said she was gonna take me back to Edinburgh. That is not how you pronounce that word. It is bra. Edinburgh. <laughs> that's that's wrong. You, you know that's wrong. Bra. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. No. Edinburgh. Bra. No. Edinburgh. 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 Dad? Who put that there? On my lawn? What? Oh my ah. god. It's, it's, it, that's a cafe racer custom is what it is. It's gotta be like what, like 1970-something? Yeah, 1974. Yeah, it could have been cheap and gone with red, but the original green's a lot classier. Oh my God, Dad! You see? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Four fifties a long way up from the one twenty fives we toured around Corfu on. Jimmy, this gift is for Rocco. It's not for you. It's mine. Your mother wanted me to wait for your actual birthday, but. Uh... Oh my God, Mom! <laughs> Ah! Do you know how to ride this thing? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, Dad. Huh? Yeah. You want me to show you?
police? Well, what you want? Hello? Hey, man, who are you? Who are you?
someone that you can pass the phone to. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna stay right here on the line with you, but please try to communicate with me so we can get you some help. Hello, are you there? I can barely hear you. <laughs> It's for Male. Like I told you yesterday. Where have you been, counselor? I'm sorry, you're on. Sure, but you were also late yesterday morning, so what's the answer to my question? I have a problem. Getting out of bed in the morning? I need to take a pee every 15 minutes. Prostate cancer can slow a man down. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. We could take convenience breaks. That'd be all right. Counselor, call your witness. I go to the house, up the steps, to the door. What do you see? Down the end of the hallway, in the bathroom, I saw the accused lift her dress, move her panties to one side, and insert a drug wrap into her self. Gotta say, it was a, kind of an expert move, Your Honor. Like she'd done it before. Objection! Now, inside herself. Her, uh, downstairs, Your Honor? Front or back? Front. And you saw that from the front door, all of it. The, her vagina, the panties, the drug wrap, moves. Absolutely. Do we have photographs? No, you're out. No. Very impressive detail you've given us. That's important to be precise. I agree. 
It's critical. Young man, would you step forward? Yes, yes, you. Would you meet me down here? Hmm? What's your name? Eugene. Eugene, where's your father? Busy. With what? Side girlfriend. Sell some shit up on Rampart. When's the last time you saw him? What did you eat for breakfast, Eugene? Uh, we had some pickle juice. High fries sometimes only helped out. And who helps you out? My older brother sometimes. He's affiliated. Thank you, Eugene. You may sit back down. I just wanted you to have some context, officer. See, if this woman is found guilty by me, she'll go to jail for a minimum of five years. And her smallest children, they'll be placed into child protective custody. It's possible that she won't ever see them again. And Eugene, well, the Desire crew will surely get their hands on him to sell drugs down at the open air market that they run down there. So, let me ask you this. In front of the god that you sworn by and the badge you wear, and now with everything that you know about this family, are you telling us the truth? Yes, sir. I swear it. Okay, well, you're a very convincing witness, which would be more than enough for me were it not that I am in training for a marathon. And I really love running up stairways, including the stoop steps at 5700 Flood Street in the Lower Ninth. Are you sure you want to stick to the answer that you just gave me? Yes, sir. Now it's a shotgun house, isn't that right? Yes. Do you know why they call them a shotgun house? You could stand at the front door and fire a shotgun straight through to the back door and out. Isn't that right? Uh, yes, you're All right. the rooms, living room, kitchen, bedrooms, and bathroom are off the side of the hallway. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a clean shot. All the way, front to back. Pew. You sure you're sticking with the answer that you gave me? I stood at the doorway at 5700 Flood Street, just as you did. The same front door that you just testified under oath that you saw for Molly Jones in the bathroom put a drug wrap up inside herself. Now, here's my question. Do you have see-around corner eyes? Or are you a liar of the vilest kind?
Y'all take real good care of each other now, you hear? <laughs> when did you start sounding like a Hallmark card? This morning. What? Wait, wait, wait. Are you running? Announcement on Monday. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that is terrific. <laughs> and I'm going to win. Yeah? You should come with me. Huh? Mayor's office next year. Who knows where five years from now? Wow, it's very generous of you. No, it's smart. You saved my life. That's a good story in politics. And the best story usually wins. You just do the Nancy Reagan thing. What? All demure and dewy-eyed. <laughs> gazing up at me adoringly the whole time like I'm Mount Rushmore. Jedediah? Judge? Michael? Yeah.
the first. My son taking the garbage out. Hey, how was school? Hey, all right? Adam. 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 Hey, what the hell was that? I was thinking that I'd cook up my dirty carbonara. Huh? And then maybe, maybe Shawshank one more time. Or we could go out. What's wrong with your arm? Adam. Uh, something happened, Dad. At school? What? Um, I was driving, and I couldn't get a hold of you. Hit somebody. What do you mean? You, you, I don't know the car. A motorcycle. Oh, Jesus. Who? Uh, are they all right? He died. I, I think he died. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You, you think you, you, you think he died? Is, is that, is that what you saw? Or? Adam, oh, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where did this happen? The lower night. Okay, okay, so. It would be the new hospital then. The ambulance would have taken him to what? New Orleans East? I, and right? I, I don't know. Well, the police must have said I, something. I drove away. I, I drove away. Adam, you drove away before the well, EMTs but I, but arrived. I tried to help him, but I couldn't get him so to you, breathe. You, you called 911. I tried to, but... Um, we wouldn't even try to, Dad, Adam. Please. Is it yes or no? Help me, please. Dad. I, I couldn't <laughs> breathe. I... Okay. I got you, buddy. I got you. So you... You were driving, and and you couldn't breathe, right? And you were distressed, yeah. His head, um, his head must have. There was so much blood. Okay, so this was a, a, a full-blown asthma attack, then. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, and you grabbed your inhaler too. I, I I couldn't find it. Okay, okay, so you couldn't breathe. You you weren't thinking, and then the shock of what happened. But you you stopped, didn't you? You stopped, and you got out of the car and you tried to help him. But then you panicked. And is that is that right, Adam? Yeah. Okay, now listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. 
I love you more than anything in this world. And I promise you, it's going to be all right. Okay? I, I killed somebody. I know. I left you. No. Strange things to people. No, no, listen, no, listen to me. When your mom died, those first few hours were just unbearable. You howled and howled, and I thought it would never stop. But then, do you know what happened? You fell asleep. Your body just shut itself down so you could cope with the shock. And <laughs> Your head was on my arm, and I lost all feeling in it. But I couldn't move it, because I was afraid that if I did, then you'd wake up, and you'd remember that your mom met, that your mom wasn't alive anymore. We're going to the police station, aren't we? Detective Nancy Costello, please. Yes, yes, it has to be her. Um, well, can you, can you get a, a message to her? I'm, I'm coming into the precinct. At, oh, uh, Michael Desiato. D-E-S. Uh, yes. Like the judge. Dad, we bring Jingo for the ride. Give me a minute. Listen, if you get this within the next 30 minutes, will you please return my call? No, just return my call anyway. Adam, let me get him. Come on, buddy. No, what should we go? Who are you calling? That was Lee Delamere. I want us to go in lawyered up. Lawyered up? Yeah. I won't not do what's smart just because it's my own son. Are you okay? Parish prison? Yes. Uh, 
But don't forget to give Django his meds. I won't. Excuse me, sir, can I help you? Mike. Back in the car. What? I thought that we had to go Get in. Back in the car. No, no, Dad, Dad you were right. I, I, I need you. Do you just do what I tell you to do. Why are you? You are the one that said that we had to come here. The boy you hit this morning is Jimmy Baxter's son. That's who you killed. Jimmy Baxter is the head of the most vicious crime family in the history of this city. Do you understand what that means? Get in the car. about it. You understand? Adam, this is 
the rest of our lives. should know you will be found. Mr. 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 Coming up, promising news for the Nola tourist industry. On the bridge? What the fuck? On the bridge? Well, I, I, I had to. You had to? Prostate cancer. 
But I need to go. I, I need to go. I, I'm so sorry. What's your PSA? Hi. Is it over 100? It's 200. I'm sorry, sir. Look, uh, good luck, okay? You fly. Did you hear that? 